Morning everybody in the Capitol State Forest. Beautiful forest here in Olympia, Washington where the, the Rainier beer just grows on trees. Heck yeah. Everybody. Only my second day in Washington and um, already had to come out today, cover up the bike. <laughs> didn't didn't want Black Bay to get wet. Um, I've gotten I've gotten caught quite a few times on uh, my Honda Rebel when I had it here when there was zero percent chance of rain and then it, it still rains. We're we're here in uh, a, fam a familiar spot, but it's a new spot. What does that mean? Yeah. I'm here at the inside the Capitol State Forest of, of Margaret McKinney Campground, um, an actual designated campground, but I'm in a new site. Yeah. Well, this one actually surprised me quite a bit. Um, we've got Sea Loop over here, which has a couple camp sites that are occupied right now. Sea Loop 1 through 9. Well, they we got both kitties on the dash. Can you guys see them? Both of them are up there. Uh, they carved a little path here dropped a bunch of rock and uh, created C10, <laughs> which was open and available. And I didn't even have to unhook my trailer. Got room out front for the bike. It's a long site. It may not be a great site for tent campers because they put down all this gravel. So you got rocks and stuff. Uh, you know what? I should probably put that away because it's not waterproof. It says, it says not to leave it out in the rain. Uh, yeah, lots of rock. And then uh, I unloaded my bike right here. Look at all this open space. Uh huh. They did tear up a bunch of the vegetation, which I'm not in love with, but give this a couple years and all the green will come back. It'll start looking like this, I believe. Camp host Steve said uh, that, you know, usually you're not even allowed to gather anything here inside the park. You can't even pick up a stick. This is illegal, usually, to pick up a stick. And try to burn it but right now because they did all this 
you know, destruction and tearing things up to make some new campsites that they said that they're going to let us burn the, the wood that's around here. The problem is they just cut it. <laughs> uh, give it a couple years for that to season and uh, that'll be some great firewood. For now, they nailed this sign to this poor tree indicating the new site C10. There's also, you can see the Class A up there. That's also a new site in A-Loop. Right across from where the old bathroom and handicap spot was, I used to camp in the one next to it. Um, so maybe they added these sites for RVs specifically and not tent campers. That's kind of what I'm thinking because, again, wouldn't be too comfortable putting a tent down on all that rocks. But uh worked really nice for me. I was pleasantly surprised when I came in yesterday. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to check the forecast here and see if... Uh, Maybe we can go take a ride out and go look at the creek. Yeah, good old Margaret McKinney. They need to mow this middle spot here. The grass is really tall there. So there's three sites there. There's one guy in a car and cargo trailer there. This site's open. Um, like I said, th there is some rain in the forecast this week, so I think that's probably going to keep people away. But... I got my Discover Pass for the RV, also had to get a second Discover Pass for the motorcycle because it's, it's, it's another vehicle. It's strange being back in the Northwest. Got a little emotional putting that intro together, you know, because this campground specifically, you know, <sighs> Jackson and I share a lot of memories. Here we go again. <laughs> Good memories. We share good memories here, and we're gonna create new memories with Opie and Tara. There they both are up there on the dash. There's the Discover Pass for the RV, Discover Pass for the motorcycle, because it was raining, and I didn't really know what to do about it. The The warden did come through, and he said that's fine. Just well, He just wants to see it, so I got them both there. Hey, Opie. Hey, Tara. What good kitty is excited about the woods. Yeah. Well, let's see. The ground is drying up. Should we venture on the bike? Yeah, let's go, let's go try it. So glad I took the bike out. I wasn't going to at the slick roads, but it wasn't that bad. And I was really careful and sl slow through there anyway. This is uh, Bordeaux. And you can see all the moss and greenery. This is the uh, Cedar Creek coming from up there. About two or three miles up north, there's a bunch of signs about Cedar Creek Correction Center. Randomly in the middle of the woods is a, a correction center, so don't pick up hitchhikers. Okay. We won't, we won't do that. Looks like somebody may have tried to make a little camp. Don't know about the legality of doing that, but they definitely had a fire right there. Look how pretty this is under, under the bridge. Are there any trolls under the bridge? No? Okay. Beautiful though. B-E-A-U-T-Full. Heck it. If the rain's gonna hold off, I want to go check out this little small town saloon up here, down here, down by, back by the road. See if they have any food, grub, maybe a, maybe a Rainier beer draft. Haven't had a draft of Rainier since I've been back. And I love the green. It's tough for me because I grew up from these places, so I'm used to it. But when I leave and come back, just it fills an empty void after traveling and don't get me wrong I love traveling and seeing new stuff but there's also some reward to coming back and seeing home you know so yeah let's go ride into Little Rock all right well, I'm gonna venture on into the Little Rock saloon here don't know if I'll film in there but uh I'll get back to you afterwards yeah so I did sneak my iPhone in and here's their menu I love it quirky little bar 
Uh, I got one of their local draft IPAs there. They got pool tables in the back and dart boards. And of course I went with chicken tenders and those are Jojo's. Jojo's folks, I got me some Jojo potatoes. Yummy. <laughs> I'm still really glad I stopped in there because I know what it's like on the road for locals. They're always looking through that glass. As soon as you park, whether it's an RV, a car or a motorcycle, they're all staring at you. They all start saying something. I have no idea what they said about me before I came in, but I am really glad I did not bring this camera and that microphone and this handle inside <laughs> because I was definitely the odd man out in that bar, that is the first, every single person in there was called by their first name by the two bartenders and servers. <laughs> every person in there. On the other hand, before I left, they knew me as Eric, which was pretty cool. Didn't even know I was making a YouTube video of sorts with my iPhone there, so. Looks like the rain may actually be done for the evening, although you never know in the Capital State Forest. It could always start raining on us again. So I'm settled here, got some things to do, got plans with my dad for Father's Day. So we'll keep those videos coming, guys. And uh, I just want to spend a little bit of time and let it all sink in. So from Opie and Tara and I, we will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for joining us from Washington State. Bye, guys.